Hello. Welcome to Lick of the Week number nine of our 52-week series on iconic jazz phrases. Thanks for joining us. Here's your Lick of the Week. It's from Tad Dameron. It's the opening bars to the song Hot House. I'm going to talk about this lick in just a second, what it is, how to memorize it, how to translate it into all 12 keys easily. But before I do that, I just want to say thanks again to our Patreon supporters. Uh, if you like this content and want to support it too, uh, we'd love to see you over there at patreon.com forward slash tin pan. All right. So yeah, it's these licks of the week that we've been doing, uh, some of them are improvisational phrases that get popular. Some of them are... I guess things that my, my teachers have shown me that are really useful uh, applications of, uh, I guess, bebop language, like that Tim Hagen's lick that uh, I presented earlier in this series, for example, or the Eddie Henderson lick that, uh, you know, it's just a really useful distillation of some ideas. But sometimes we're going to talk about quotations, like that Charlie Parker one from before, that was a quotation from... Yes, he quoted it himself in a solo on Yardbird Suite, but my friend John Eric Cusso informed me that it's also the theme itself to the song of his called Cool Blues. All right, this, this little riff from Hot House, uh, yeah, it's one of these things that everybody seems to know. It catches your ear. If you play it on the bandstand, everyone takes a look. Oh, yeah, I know that thing. That's a cool thing. That's a hip thing. Um, Hot House... It was a pretty popular song. Charlie Parker uh, recorded it. Tad Dameron recorded it as well. And then more recently, um, Chick Corea has a version of it. It's, it's a pretty popular tune. So that this phrase is kind of out there in the language. Now, what is this phrase? What is this thing called, this phrase? All right, it's on a, it's on a minor seven flat five chord. It starts that way. It starts on scale degree three of that chord. In this case, we are in the key of F minor-ish, so that's, that's a 2-5, so it's G minor 7 flat 5, and it starts on the B flat. It goes down chromatically a tritone, pausing in the middle here. And then continuing. And back up. So it takes a break halfway through, and then goes all the way down to the tritone, uh, tritone away from it, and then comes back up a little bit. Pretty easy uh, in that it's all chromatic. There's not much to think about. And because it's chromatic, it's easily transposable. Uh, when it gets back to that uh, F sharp here, it flips up a major third and then flips back down a major third. So the first thing it does, that note that it pauses at, is the root of that two chord. So minor three chromatically down to the root and then down further and back up to the, the F sharp. Now, what's going on with this F sharp here? So, if you think about it, that's a 2-5, G minor 7 to uh, C, 7 flat 13 to F minor. This F sharp is the tritone substitution of that C dominant chord. And we're just going 1-3-1 one, one on that F sharp 7 chord. It's kind of easier way to think about it. It's just this idea of chromatically going two, flat two, to the one. All right, now also, that bottom note there is an, is an E natural. So between E natural, F sharp, and B flat, or A sharp, we're really outlining that F sharp dominant seven. We got the dominant seven, the root, and the major third there. And that's the cleverness of this line. It's really outlining two, flat two, and eventually it's gonna to resolve to one. Now, when you link these two licks together, as Hot House does, it just takes the same exact thing and repeats it down a whole step. So, as if now we're starting on F sharp, minor seven, flat five. And the exact same rules apply. The same way to understand it is there. It's minor two, flat two, Dominant seven going to eventually to resolve. 
All right, so that's the lick of the week. It's from Tad Dameron's song, Hot House. You can use it on a minor 2-5 like that song does. And you can also just use it over a dominant chord. For example, again, if you have two bars of a dominant chord, let's say you have C7, you can just start on scale degree seven. And that'll work perfectly fine. All right, there you go. That's your lick of the week. Enjoy and have fun.